Hello, my name is Julie and you are on the Space Daily News channel. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has revealed the once hidden features of the protostar within the dark cloud L1527, providing insight into the beginnings of a new star. These blazing clouds within the Taurus star-forming region are only visible in infrared light, making it an ideal target for Webb's near-infrared camera. The protostar itself is hidden from view within the neck of this hourglass shape. An edge on protoplanetary disk is seen as a dark line across the middle of the neck. Light from the protostar leaks above and below this disk, illuminating cavities within the surrounding gas and dust. The region's most prevalent features, the clouds colored blue and orange in this image, outline cavities created as material shoots away from the protostar and collides with surrounding matter. The colors themselves are due to layers of dust between web and the clouds. The blue areas are where the dust is thinnest. The thicker the layer of dust, the less blue light is able to escape, creating pockets of orange. Web also reveals filaments of molecular hydrogen that have been shocked as the protostar ejects material away from it. Shocks and turbulence inhibit the formation of new stars, which would otherwise form all throughout the cloud. As a result, the protostar dominates the space. Despite the chaos that L1527 causes, it's only about 100,000 years old. L1527 is considered a class zero protostar, the earliest stage of star formation. Protostars like this have a long way to go before they become full-fledged stars. L1527 doesn't generate its own energy through nuclear fusion of hydrogen yet, an essential characteristic of stars. Its shape, while mostly spherical, is also unstable. As the protostar continues to gather mass, its core gradually compresses and gets closer to stable nuclear fusion. The scene shown in this image reveals L1527 doing just that. The surrounding molecular cloud is made up of dense dust and gas being drawn to the center, where the protostar resides. As the material falls in, it spirals around the center. This creates a dense disk of a material known as an accretion disk, which feeds material to the protostar. As it gains more mass and compresses further, the temperature of its core will rise, eventually reaching the threshold for nuclear fusion to begin. The disk seen in the image as a dark band in front of the bright center is about the size of our solar system. Given the density, it's not unusual for much of this material to stick together to form the rudiments of the planets. Ultimately, this image of L1527 allows us to see what our Sun and solar system looked like at the time of their beginnings. Space Daily News. Like, share and subscribe.